mindset is critical to get to where we want to go, more fundamental than virtually any other leverage point. If we are to be successful, we must cultivate the mindset that will lead to appropriate goals, rules, and outcomes. Particularly problematic in this quest are beliefs and myths that cloud our ability to reshape our mindset. In the US, there are at least three key beliefs to challenge. One, myth of the individual. America was founded on the idea that anyone can come here to make a new way of life. It's all up to the individual to take initiative, and you succeed or fail based on personal merit. Countless individuals have come to this country and excelled in an array of personal, financial, social, and environmental spheres, and this fact should be celebrated. What this concept so often ignores, though, are the social, economic, political, technical, and ecological support systems around individuals that make their success or failure possible. For example, the technical and industrial buildup of the country was fueled in parts by free labor from the backs of American slaves, exploited immigrant labor, liquidation of natural habitat, and the misappropriation of Native American lands. And cities, states, and the nation made huge investments in infrastructure development over this time to benefit all individuals, catalyzing and or creating the transport, educational, energy, delivery, and communication systems we use. The myth of the individual has tremendous implications for tackling the problems that are greater than ourselves. Robust economic recovery, large-scale habitat preservation, and advancement of equity all require greater coordination beyond our individual selves for successful response. The second myth is the myth of unlimited economic growth. Politicians very often articulate economic growth as a goal. More economic growth is always assumed to be better, and that assumption is rarely questioned. Yet, this completely ignores at least two levels of limits. First come the limits of society that support the economy. Ultimately, there's only so much work a population of people can do. Maybe it's $10 billion a year, maybe it's $1 trillion, depending upon the available natural capital, technical assets, and product value, but the point is, is that there are bounds. Next come the limits of the Earth's living systems that support that society. The assets of planet Earth, whether renewable or non-renewable, are finite. If we were able to drive our economy solely by the power of the sun, we would have near unlimited economic potential but that's currently nowhere near the reality. These two levels of limits impel us to carefully scrutinize how we measure economic health and question what the growth trajectory should look like for relatively rich and mature economies like the US. The third myth is the myth of discovery. That myth is that colonists came to a vast, wild, and uninhabited land. There are clearly stories of Native Americans throughout colonial history, but note that our histories of the continent always start in 1492. The myth supports the false thinking that colonists have the right to come and claim land since no one else was previously quote-unquote using it. The colonizing mindset helps drive unsustainability. In becoming colonists, it is all too easy to lose our sense of place, our connection with the land, and our understanding of locality. There's always another area from which we can extract resources under a colonial mindset. So those are the three myths. One common theme between them is that of limits, or rather, the ignoring of limits. Myth of the individual doesn't see an individual's limits and the resources that come from beyond. The myth of unlimited economic growth ignores the limits of resource flows feeding into the economy. And the myth of discovery doesn't honor living within the limits of place. As individuals, we should certainly still push our personal limits to excel, but recognize in that process the other factors that support our efforts. A healthy system needs to know, understand, and embrace these limits for effective self-management. 
a mindset that recognizes and honors limits whether individual economic or geographic would better reflect the goals we wish to see